I'm making this video to answer um, somebody's question about this fan. They have the same one, just like me. And here it is. Now, if yours is off balance, you want to check. Oops. You want to check if the blades line up when you spin it. Sorry, I'll turn off this. Turn off this. They should line up. Like this end, when you... Let me plug it in. And it'll be much easier to see. You can see you want them to line up. Mine's basically perfectly balanced. So you want... Never mind, that doesn't help. Oops. So you want them to line up at the edge, and that's, that's how you want it. And if it's vibrating, then you just put your finger here and um, then bend the blade back a little bit. Be careful when you do it, don't bend it back too much, because you can mess it up. And, yeah. For how I balance it, I usually just watch to see if those um, rivets are aligned. You make make sure to balance, if you do it, to make sure these blade brackets are all aligned when you spin it before you bend the blade. And if it, if it doesn't uh, vibrate, then you don't have to do anything. Don't even touch it. And the cage should be good. So, with yours, I'll turn it to the back. So here, I've replaced the head wire. I didn't do any uh, do a video about it, but with yours, you have the gearbox. Here's the oiler. Make sure to oil it every year. Use non-detergent oil. That is very important. And here's the tag. See what you can tell. There's the amps, cycles, volts, 110. Mine's rated for 0.5, and it draws way less, which is good. And then it's got, it's going to show up, it's got that number there. Mine's an 18. So what that means is that when you add a 20 to it, 18 plus 20 is 38, and that's the year. 1938 was the year when this fan was made. So that's how you can do it for all Emerson fans. That's the date code. Here's the handle, obviously. And then... I did repaint the base pretty crappily, so I'm going to redo that. And head wires, what you were talking about, the same. Here's the cord. I just replaced it. You can get any cord. Um, a grounded cord will not work, though. And this is the part, how from the head wire goes to the, from here to here. This is into the motor. Let me undo it. I'll pause the video. I did take off the um, oscillator. Now when you spin it, you want this part to spin also. There's a notch in there, and when you take it apart, you want to line up the notch with this. And if it doesn't go in, take the gearbox off, and it slides in and out. And when you slide it in, you want it to go in and to lock in, so that way when you spin the blade, this spins. Because if you mess up, it'll bind up the fan, and you want to shut it off. Right then and there, or you'll mess it up. And here's what the gearbox looks like. You want to add some grease to it make sure to clean out the old grease i use um penetrating oil to clean it out and um grease that'll work is let me show you my grease this grease is awesome it works really well and i use it a lot Oop. and what is it so yeah and this is the part that I was talking about. This is where it goes into the motor. It's only on these older models, so you want to do this. Make sure to keep all your screws. Normally I put them in a cup, but yeah. Now this part, um, where the I put it on wrong, it's supposed to make it much easier. I can flip it around. But this is like a grommet. Let me pause the video so I can take it out. This part, it's supposed to be flipped around. This part, 
It's supposed to be over here to make it much easier when you disassemble it. So you don't have to take off the gearbox. But this is a grommet. Keep this and it's very important. And you want to give yourself a, enough length so when you rotate it this direction that it won't be too tight. See, I have plenty of, of give. That's what you want. So let me pause the video. And this is where you add the oil, non-detergent oil. Very important. Oil every year. And yeah. When you take the blades off, on my video, you want to make sure to get uh, oil get oil in the rotor when you put it together make sure to put oil on the spindle and inside of that rotor get it all in there let it soak uh, get it everywhere because if you don't then you'll wear down the bearing and these can't be replaced because they're pressed in there it cost a whole ton so make sure to be careful when you do that and oil a lot make sure the oil you wipe up any excess oil that's going to go on to the windings because you don't want that to soak into the windings and I'll pause the video so that way I can show you the um, grommet. Here's the grommet. Now I can pull the wires out for mine but I'm just going to leave them in there and uh, normally it would have had something tied around it but I just put some electrical tape there to keep it from getting pulled out and though there's lead wires. Now do not pull the lead wires out because you have to be very careful that um, if you know how it's wired up with a multimeter, then you can just cut the wire here and I can send you a picture of how these are supposed to be wired. But um, if you don't, then make sure that you figure out which wire goes where before you cut anything or, or you'll um, mess it up. And obviously make sure not to pull any lead wires out because then you'll ruin the motor. So whenever you do, whenever you're messing with this do not pull it out because they're probably dry rotted and you can pull out the leads from the motor so be very careful that's what the grommet looks like you just take this off make sure to keep it and yeah and then when it goes into the base there's the speed coil right right atop here capacitors on the bottom that's what that box is switch and um so the lead wire will go in go it, um right by the speed coil and usually there's it'll, one wire will go to the capacitor. I think one goes to the one side of the cord and another goes onto this one part. I don't remember which side, but I, um, hopefully in my video you, you saw it. But when you take it apart, you can tell. Do not, when you take it apart, you can cut the wire off, take it down, look through the wires to see where they, the other wires used to go and then mark down those spaces so that way when I send you the wire diagram you can read and figure out which one goes where. I know for sure one of these wires goes as a capacitor and I'm pretty sure one of these goes to here um, to the cord but there's a way it's it's on it doesn't go directly to the cord it goes to a screw and then to the cord and that's basically it and there are wire nuts there and if this whole stud comes off that's okay you just undo the stud and before you pull the cage off undo these and be careful not to bend anything especially not the blade because these are really hard to balance and if you don't balance them then it can wear down and just ruin the fan that's why yeah let me I don't know yeah I have a flashlight here so I can show you where you stick a screwdriver allen wrench like this, Allen wrench into there. I'm trying to look with my actual eye. There it is. You can see that there's a hole in the rotor. And make sure not to hit the windings. The windings are right there. They're wrapped, and you can see them. Do not hit those. And um, yours should have a hole, and just stick it into that hole, and it locks the rotor. And you turn the blades, turn the blades they would no, the way they normally run, and then you turn them the opposite. You turn them the opposite way when you're tightening it. And if it doesn't go on, um, if it doesn't go on like correctly at an angle, do not force it. Do not force it. Just restart. Because if you force it, you mess up those threads. You really just mess up the whole fan. So be careful about that. Don't force anything. 
And when you get to the end, um, like what I said, just take the gearbox off and angle this. It, um, there's like a notch at the in the end. Make sure that this locks on there so when you turn the blade, this turns also. Because that's very important. I messed up the first time and I was wondering why my fan seized up. And then I forgot about that. So that's really it. Besides how to make it oscillate, you just this twist you turn it um this way and it'll move this hole out so that way wider arc of oscillation and like before big make sure to oil it not detergent oil make sure to oil it i like to oil oil my fans every three months but that's just me don't or over oil it because then it leaks out but with these it's kind of hard just put Put a decent amount in there the first time, but make sure when you take it apart to clean it and to pull oil on that bearing that goes across, you'll see it. And there'll also be, if you watch my video, there was a nut at the end, and you take that off, and that slides off. Make sure to know where those fiber washers go, how they were aligned, and or how they went in, and that's really just, that's basically it. Hope this was informational, and yeah.